it's your girl Tino and today we are going to be doing a product review okay first of all before I get on with this video make sure that you guys that are newbies to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button to be alerted of any new videos that I do come out with and if you are watching this and you are enjoying it so far don't forget to hit that like button that helps me out a lot lets me know that I'm doing what I am supposed to do right so now let us get on to the purpose of the video the video is gonna be about these little oval brushes and you guys probably know what the hype is about these brushes especially because they've been compared to the RT's brushes and you guys know how those brushes are those brushes are freaking expensive I'm talking about one brush for $75 one brush for 35 one brush for 45 like seriously like I ain't got time for that who's gonna pay all that coins for just one brush okay so I know these companies were looking at that and were like okay let us come out with something affordable that is comparable that people can use they don't want to spend that coin on artist brushes I have one artist brush that I did order it's a linear circle one that's coming in that brush was $35 and it, it, it ain't no oval brush it's the probably the smallest of the brushes I want to compare the quality that's why I got that one brush I just want to see the quality between this one and that one so this seller is on Amazon I will list everything about the seller in the description bar I also will list the link to where you can find the brushes the brushes I believe were only if I'm not mistaken $15.99 don't quote me on that but if it's less than that or more I will list it down on the video and I'll also link it in the description as I'm talking about each brush you guys are gonna see a little demo of me using it or you can see it right above me talking so I might as well do it that way and you guys see me demo each brush I didn't use all brushes because all brushes were not necessary for what I created today but I will be showing you the brushes that I did use as I talk about them. It's a 10 brush set, so we're gonna start with the biggest of the brush. As I'm talking also, I'm also gonna put a little clip of the brush that is similar to from the Artiste one so you guys can see how it looks like and some similarities. This brush is supposed to be similar to the oval one, the oval one, which is the biggest brush. Really, really big and chunky, monkey kind of brush. So it's really, really big. And this, I believe, will be used for powder. I didn't use this because I felt like I didn't actually use powder today. So, you know, I just did this look for the video purposes. So I didn't use this. But overall, you're supposed to use it to apply loose powder. And that would be that. The next one is um, the next size to it. This is. Uh, a smaller version of it this I did use I use this for foundation you can actually see the foundation little goop right there it is a little bit workable I think if I keep using it I will get the hang of it but for right now I'm still practicing I'm not the best in using these brushes and I believe if I had the artiste ones I would not be the best at those ones either this one takes a lot of brushing and strokes and all that stuff to just get the foundation blended I think I still prefer using my regular traditional brushes to blend my foundation but I will keep trying this so I can get the hang of it the next one that follows it is a little bit smaller you can see how it goes it's like bigger smaller smaller yeah that's what the whole sequence is this is like the next level like that this one I did use for concealer I used to apply my concealer and I also use it to set my concealer so I use uh, this brush for two functions this one I didn't use because it's a little bit similar to this but I wanted this one for a more a wide range but I believe I did use this once previously for concealer so this is like one of like one of the things I use for concealer or get it into small crevices of my face that I wouldn't get otherwise I think there is a brush miss missing I actually don't know where it is like seriously one two three yeah there is one more brush missing I'm gonna look for it real quick oh my god I found a freaking brush it's actually not the brush I thought it was so this is the brush I wanted to show you it's really really smaller it's smaller in comparison to the one I talked about previously I don't know if this one is meant for shadow I think it is because I didn't use it today but I believe this is meant for a lid shadow and I never used it so yeah this is what this one is for I just used a regular brush for it I didn't really know what I would have used this for but I believe it would be for shadow if not I will list what it's used for on the video the first five brushes are mainly face brushes I would say the next five are mainly eye brushes this one is 
um, the one that's similar to the, it's a circle one brush. Yeah, I think that's the one I ordered from Artiste. It's for blending crease area. And then this one too, it's also a blending brush. It's more flatter. This is more, they tried to make it tapered, but I believe they, they kind of failed. You know what I mean? Try but fail. And you can feel the material of this. It's not as heavy as the Artiste ones. I would believe the Artiste ones would be way heavier than these. But I like that they do bend because I've seen a lot of videos. I've not actually had my Artiste brush with me yet. But I see a lot of videos whereby people can easily bend or, you know, the neck of the brushes are movable. So these, they actually did a good job in trying to replicate this. This one was the brush I tried to use as a high eyeliner. The one that I should have used was this one that I just found in that little corner right there. This one is supposed to be an eyeliner brush. And I bet you these ones are supposed to be diviner brushes because I, for the life of me, could not do my eyeliner well but I still tried of course you guys can see I tried my best but of course it was so fat because this was so fat so that's why and then the last one is just a bigger version of the one I used for the eyeliner so as you guys can see right here there is no difference let's go back to the, the little one which is the tiniest of all in eyeliner wise this is the one you're supposed to use for eyeliner so now we're gonna talk about my overall thoughts of this product okay is it really good I believe it's worth your money but I believe if you've tested artiste brushes you can stay away from these but if you're like looking for the cheaper version of artiste and you're not willing to pour out the money because I believe the whole set costs almost $400 and you want to use these ones go ahead and try them out it won't hurt your bank to even try them out just to see if you're willing to venture out and get the artiste brushes so I actually really really uh, agreed to do this review with the seller because I wanted to see how it works before I actually invest the money on the, the high-end brand so I believe if this is the way they work right now, I don't think they're similar to the Artiste ones. I mean, if I can get someone to, like, gift me an oval, oval brush, maybe. <laughs> like, you know, wink, wink. If you're gonna gift me one, let me know. Because <laughs> that stuff is $75. Like, seriously, uh-uh, I ain't doing that. If you guys want to purchase it, the link will be all down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you absolutely love this video. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys again for your love and support. Support. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!